After years of disappointment, the U.S. boxing team is hoping London could be their comeback event. It's a great feeling, but I'm not satisfied with just being an Olympian. Um, I came here to get a job done, and that's get a medal, and that's preferably gold. Although defeated in his Olympic match, co-captain Jamel Herring is motivating his teammates through hard work and a positive spirit. We already got enough pressure as it is with, you know, just being an American. So we just try to have, you know, just as much fun as possible. But at the same time, we want to work hard. We take, we take it seriously. You know, we all want to just do and represent the country well. Their doctor explains how their hard work is supported by a healthy diet to stay in their weight class. Food get rid of the salts and the, because they have to watch their weight. So we can't have all the salt, we can't have all the gravies. We need more like grilled fish, grilled chicken, things that are just more basic. Their efforts are clearly paying off as Team USA is still in the ring. And for the first time in history, there are also three female American boxers chasing medals. Texas native Marlene Esperanza is the first female boxer to qualify for the Olympics and she is all about focus and mentality. And I think like every time you beat somebody, it means I was just better than you as a person. I'm more hard than you, I'm smarter than you, I'm stronger than you, I'm quicker than you. It's just like everything you got, I'm better. But for a very long time, I was the only official girl on the team. So I felt really good about myself in that sense. But then it was like a, I guess like a catch-22 because then I was like really sad because I was like, oh, I'm gonna leave myself. <laughs> Here at the U.S. Olympic training facility, the talk amongst all the boxers is no one wants to go home without a medal. The U.S. men's and women's boxing team want to knock out all their competition. Reporting in East London for Metro West Daily News, I'm Casey Rabin.